Hola, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moons. Welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it, it's when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the um, wait. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. While you're waiting for yours to get done, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings. The first portion of this will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Second portion will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's get to your sun-moon combination. So Pisces sun, Pisces moons. Uh, you have, in this combination, you tend to experience everything around you um, in a very delicate way intuitive kind of way you have incredible spiritual gifts incredible empathy and one of the things you all cannot stand is to see suffering in the world you're a little bit mess mysterious um sensitive a vulnerable person you do not operate with any malice any deceit anything of that sort you're actually very innocent you're very unquestioning very conscientious of other people and this makes you very vulnerable uh, your intuition is actually your only defense you sort of have, so you should use it to guide you um, through life. When you do use it, you always seem to know when to charge in with something and when to withdraw, just withdraw from somebody, who to trust, who you should avoid. Um, you do have a hard time differentiating between reality and fantasy at times. You tend to be internal, self-examining uh, with a lot of sympathy. Um, when you were young, you might have you might have been so scared of not having security or comfort that you kind of grabbed all the material possessions that you could gather to give you security. So other people might have seen you a little bit, um, you know, greedy, believe it or not. Um, but that was the reason why you were doing that to kind of like you know feel more secure. It's difficult for you all to for you all to concentrate. You tend to drift in daydreams. Again, you're very emotional, very sensitive to your environment. It's good for you all to have some kind of technical training of some sort or some sort of discipline in order for your artistic dreams that you have to be realized. So, you know, earth signs are always good for that. If you want to align with one of them. Um, males are drawn to jobs that offer permanence. Females are drawn to shelter and security of an early marriage or just a marriage in general. You really have to fight the urge to withdraw from society stay social, have friends, you tend to be shy and vulnerable, uh, your creative and artistic talents are great, but then your strong ambition and drive are not. So again, you need to make a plan, align yourself with someone who's a good manager, they can make your dreams come to fruition, even though you're, because you are super visual and powerful in that regard, powerful creatively. So let's see what's going on here in 2020. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Pisces, sun, Pisces, moons for the year 2020. What do you see? What do they need to hear? For their greater good to reach your higher ground become closer to universe and closer to divine any messages you have for pisces sun pisces moons for the year 2020 would be greatly appreciated by us appreciated by us thank you what do you see for january february march pisces sun pisces moons we have the knight of cups in reversed if this resonates consider a personal reading my email is below just send me an email and I'll give you information and we can work that out. Page of Pentacles is in the upright for April, May, June. Ask me a question on Instinko. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Five of Cups are reversed for July, August, September. Also, if you could like, share, subscribe, and or donate in a link below. Always appreciated. Okay, I like this. You guys actually turn your year around. So you're starting off in January, February, March, some sort of disappointment, some sort of sadness. You could have gotten involved with somebody who disappointed you. Um, usually by Knight of Cups is somebody who has uh, is an avoidant when it comes to emotions, commitment issues, um, likes to turn things around and blame something on the other person. So if you call them out on something that they're doing, they'll say, well, I did that because you did dot, dot, dot. Um, they could be moody, they could be abusive, jealous, whatever it is, um, kind of dealing with this person at the beginning of the year. And again, they're bringing about, you know, great disappointment and great sadness um, because they have disappointed you, right? So I feel you're all getting it together in April, May, June. You come up with some kind of a plan or a strategy. You guys either get a new job, uh, you decide to go back to school, you decide maybe to start a new business. Page of Pentacles is a spark of an idea. 
to start something in a financial or a practical sense. And I think in doing that in April, May, June, this is what helps you kind of um, recover from whatever this was. I, you're recovering, you're moving on, you're feeling good about yourself, you're being social, you know, connecting with friends. Um, five of Cups in reverse for me is just starting to feel like your old self again. And as you end it in October, November, December, I see that your cup is filled, it's overflowing. For some of you, this could signify getting married, birth of a child, a new love, a proposal of some sort, a proposal that um, appeals to a new creative direction, um, possibility of new money um, that, that you know is emotionally fulfilling like has that attached to it so I, it starts off rough but it looks like you guys turn it around um, I'm gonna be pulling clarifiers in the Vimeo reading so just click on the Vimeo link below it'll take you where you need to go and or consider a personal reading otherwise check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings in my playlist ask me a question on instant go check me out on Facebook check me out on insta like share subscribe and or donate in the link below in support of these videos I do every year Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.